Okay, now we're going to move to the front. We need to take off these struts, so I need to take off these two mounts that go to the front axle. One here to the stabilizer bar, and I also need to take loose this brake line, take the clip off. Before I start anything on the wheel well, I'm going to first take off the cowl. In order to take this cowl off, I need to first take off the windshield wipers. I'm going to use a small uh, flathead screw, pop in the sides on each end, there. And I can also now take off the cover pieces if I want to. Dig underneath. These are just going to pop off. And I'll get the other side. When, all I need to do is take these nuts off. And these will come right off. Alright, the last few pieces to take off for the cow top. These clips, are all, there's five along the bottom. Just slip a screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver in the side. We need to bend these center pieces away from each other and that way the clip will come straight out. Once you're done there, take off your side piece. It's just held on by Velcro. There's one small clip in each side, and then the cow top itself will pull towards the front of the vehicle, and then it will lift out and out of the way. Now on the do on the passenger side, there is a windshield washer uh, nozzle tube. It's just rub two rubber pieces. You can just pull those apart, and then it will come and take it out. Okay, now I'm going to take the top bolts out of the strut. There's three, two on the front side. One is actually down here in the corner, underneath there. Once you take these three out, then your strut, go down below in the wheel well, it can actually work. Okay, so right now I have the front axle supported on, on top of my jack. Piece of wood in between so I don't scrape it. The things you need to take off on the bottom, of course this clip is going to pull up and out and then your brake line will come loose off the strut this is your ABS harness you need to take this loose from these two mounts and up on the side the stabilizer bar will need to come out there and then the two axle nuts holding the axle to the strut once that's complete you can lower the whole assembly down and take the strut out. Alright, once you have the spring compressed down with the spring compressor, you just need to hold the center, and it's a 6 millimeter Allen head and an 18 millimeter nut, so you can do it with an open end wrench or a closed end wrench if you don't have a socket that will fit like this, and then just a 6 millimeter in the center, and you'll want to turn the nut and hold the center as you do it. Once you have the strut taken apart, it's just a matter of reassembly. Put your spring compressor back on, tighten these up. Little by little, side by side, until it crunches all the way down. Then we'll put it back on our strut. Once you have the strut torqued down with the, the pillow damper on top, just make sure your spring is aligned to the notch here. If you notice the end falls within that groove, and then you can just take the spring compressor off. Going side by side, a little bit each side. That way it comes off nice and easy. Okay, here's the finished product. Now if you'll notice on the bottom where it does say R1 or L1 on the left or right side, you'll want on the top where it says RH, you'll want that pointed 
to the front and then once you install it installation is just the reverse of taking it apart okay once you have your strut put back in and your front axle tightened down your stabilizer tightened down and your pillow mounts on top tightened down to the factory specifications just make sure your ABS wires routed correctly attached any brake lines you took loose anything else attached now we can put the wheeled tire back on put the car back on the ground and finish up the cow work Okay, now to finish the cowl work, just remember the cowl goes underneath the glass, over the windshield wipers. Next will be the clips. And they just push in and slide on. And just make sure they snap in there. Both tongs go on. Next will be the small push pin on the quarter. After the clip, washer hose, and then air guide. Then I'll do the left side. Okay, now I've got my wipers back on. It's going to be torqued to 17 newton meters, I'm sorry, 17 foot pounds, 23 and a half newton meters. Torqued, torqued. And when these are lined up, once you put them on, there's two white dots on the windshield. You need to make sure the wipers line up with those. Now, once you have the windshield wipers torqued, caps back on, you see you put on these trim clips. There's also a little bit of 3M tape here on the windshield, a little, little piece on the back. These just slide in together. It is a nice rubbery piece of plastic. Just go in together. Once that's all connected, Make sure the tape is nicely adhered. And that's it. That's it for putting on front, front and rear springs. That's it for this week. Join us on the forums. NissanVersa.org. I'm going to go take this thing for a drive.